Hey guys, um, so I apologize, I'm in the bathroom right now. Um, my girl is actually asleep uh, in the room, so I wanted to, I obviously I didn't want to wake her up, so I decided to um, come in here, but I'm not in the living room because it's just hot out there, so I just don't feel like being out there right now. Um, sorry about the crappy view of the crappy bathroom. But, um, anyway, so, um, I kind of wanted to update you guys on what has been going on, um, of course, with my health. Uh, I ended up going to the hospital, um, Sunday, uh, yeah, yesterday like 9 o'clock, well, 10 o'clock, um, I wasn't, sorry, I wasn't, um, in a lot of pain at that moment, um, but I knew that I was going to be eventually, um, so I went in and they, um, uh, I was only there for like probably two hours, which is good. I, I hate it when I'm like stuck at a hospital. So it was actually pretty nice that they were kind of able to get me in and out of there. Um, it was actually really nice. I, I really like the hospital though. It's always, it's always been really quick um, at that hospital. So I like it. Uh, I went to Mountain View. Um, everybody was really nice and stuff. Um, so basically they did a a chest x-ray, a um, blood test, and a urine test, and everything came back fine. Um, and the thing is, it's not like I want something to be wrong with me, um, but the thing is, is that when you feel these, um, these uh, kinds of symptoms, or just any type of uncomfortable, painful symptoms, you obviously know that there's something wrong and the thing is is that when you know that you feel this pain or this discomfort or whatever um and it just seems like if you're feeling this but there's nothing if you're not being diagnosed with anything like nothing's um coming up like there's no they can't seem to find any reasoning behind it and you know, I mean, I know I've, in the last couple of months, I've probably gotten at least, like, four EKGs, um, and chest x-rays and blood tests and everything else, and everything comes back fine, and, like, it's like, I, I don't want to think it's my heart, you know, and everybody doesn't think it's my heart, because it just seems like everything comes back normal, um, I don't know, you know, it's like, what am I, what can I do, you know, I don't want to, because it's like, I don't want to rule out the possibility that there isn't something wrong with my heart, but at the same time, I don't want to, like, dwell on it and keep thinking that there's something is, because I know that that's going to make the whole situation worse. Um, and I also have to keep my options open for other possibilities, you know, like digestive issues or something else, you know, and I mean, I'm open to everything. It's just frustrating that it just seems like, you know, and I thought, you know, I, I kind of had my hopes up a bit because I thought, you know, you know, I'm going to go to the hospital and they're going to be able to figure out what's wrong with me because they'll be able to do all these things like right off the bat. But unfortunately, they couldn't, and I think that's what upset me a lot because I was just like, I'm in pain. Like I'm going through these things, and they keep saying my 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 oxygen levels fine, my lungs sound fine, and I'm like, then why can't I breathe? Why does it feel like when I breathe, I have to strain myself? Why does it? Why do I feel like when my 
like if I, when I, if I feel my chest hurting, why is it that there's nothing wrong with my heart? They can't find anything wrong with my heart. And granted, I haven't gotten the whole smorgasbord test done. Like hopefully I can. But from the basic tests that can show basic shit of what's going on with your heart, nothing has showed up. Why is it that, I mean, it's like, I already know I have acid reflux. That's already a given. I know I have IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome. And like, I already know that I have like certain things, but the thing is, is that these certain things don't cause these other symptoms that I'm having. Like, yeah, the abdominal pain that goes into my chest, that could be a possibility of, you know, fucking, I don't know of uh, some one of the chest pain, you know, or, you know, gas, you know, because gas, if it's trapped in your chest, it can make it hard for you to breathe. I've already been through this, but the feeling of like, literally just feeling like you're going to pass out. Like, I don't know, you know, some of these symptoms that I've been having, it doesn't, they don't seem to line up with these other two things that I have. You know, and I've been trying to stay away from dairy, and I've been trying to stay away from spicy foods and and fatty foods and salty foods, like things that I know that are that do set off my like episodes because I realize that when I eat stuff with a lot of salt in it, or I eat things that are like dairy products or spicy foods or stuff like that, it really, like, sets it off, like, really badly, like, it's like, I have to be, I have to be super careful, it's like, I have to really, I have to start making shit at home more, it's like, my stomach, my digestive system is just getting worse, like, it just seems like I can't handle more and more and more foods that I used to be able to eat all the time, um, which I mean, I understand, like, I'm only 22, based on what, but I know that as you get older, you're, you know, the things that you used to be able to do or eat or whatever, you can't do anymore. I mean, I understand that. But it just seems like it's happening at, like, a drastic rate. Like, I can't eat shit even more than, like, even faster. Like, if I, um, like, today, I probably should have done it. But I had a sandwich and I made the moment I had, which I don't even remember, I had like avocado, turkey, and the thing is, is I got a really set of acidic things, but it's like, it's kind of hard to know exactly what I can eat because I feel like I have to li- literally eliminate everything that I eat, like I can't even eat because it just seems like whatever I eat, it sets it off. Like it doesn't matter what it is. Like, I just, I get pain, and that's not normal, and that, and I, it literally terrifies, it terrifies me because I know that most of the time when I eat, I'm going to have some type of pain, and that scares me, that I literally feel like I can't eat because it's going to cause me pain, and I don't like to feel that way, like, I don't want to feel like I, I'm always hungry or I always have to eat, like, that's what I've been trying to avoid by eating things that have, like, more protein and fiber and stuff like that to help, like, fill me up so I'm not as hungry, and I honestly haven't been since I've been eating better, but even when I eat better, it just seems like I can't ever eat out, like, I can't ever go somewhere and eat something without having repercussions for it, and I'm not talking about, like, Donald's or pizza or shit like that, like, I get it. You know, eating that kind of shit is not good, and I have been completely avoiding that. My girl got McDonald's in a day, and I had, like, a couple fries, but, I mean, whatever, you know. But I've been avoiding, like, fast food to, like, the tea. Like, I don't even, I think it's been, like, probably, like, two weeks since I've eaten fast food. It's been, like, I mean, and if I do eat out... Doing places that I've really been eating out at, which I haven't really been. I've mostly just been cooking at home, or I get like salads from 
my work um, is Zupas because I know that their stuff's, you know, somewhat healthy. So it's kind of like, you know, I just go there. But even that I haven't, like, I ate that today and it, like, set me off. Like, it's like I couldn't eat that either. Um, I don't know what it is, man. I really don't. And the sad part about it is that the main thing, and it shouldn't be the main thing that I worry about, but for some reason it is, the main thing that I worry about is losing my job over this. That is literally the main thing because I can't survive without money and I don't want something like this that might or might not be a something serious to control my life and to risk me losing my job like and I know that people look at me like why the fuck do you why are you so worried about losing your job over your health and I get that and I know that's not the mentality that I, I should have and that um, you, know, you should always take care of your health before anything else but the thing is is that um, when you're around so many people that put it in your face saying you have to go to work no matter what unless you're dying you need to go to work and i get that that's a good mentality to have to an extent because you know you shouldn't call out sick just because you like i don't know have like a headache or something or just something like stupid and like small like i get that and i never really call out because of that the time that I've been really been calling out was because of what I'm going through and it's been causing me so much pain that I literally couldn't even get out of bed and that's the thing like it's just frustrating because it's like I'm going through these, this pain and it's I'm not saying that people don't believe me but it's kind of hard to make it convincing to people that I work with and people that, and you know, my manager saying, I'm going through this stuff, I don't know what it is. It's kind of hard to for, to, to, for it to sound believable when I can't even tell them what's wrong with me. Like, I mean, symptom wise, yeah, I know it's wrong, but I can't tell them like a diagnosis, like what exactly I have because I don't even know. Like doctors, my doctor's still trying to figure it out and it's kind of hard to make it sound convincing that I'm going through this stuff when I can't even tell them what exactly I have. And I think that's the part that's frustrating me the most is that I've been causing myself even more anxiety and I know that obviously stressing about this and stressing about all this other stuff because of it is not helping the situation. I know that it's probably making it worse. But it's kind of hard not to stress um, about it because you, it's because you don't want stuff like this to um, ruin your life, you know, you don't want stuff like this to cause you to lose your job or relationships because you can't do certain things and it's like it's getting to the point where I feel like I it's it's getting it's getting painful pretty fast it's getting worse pretty fast and I feel like I'm even scared to leave my house because I feel like if I'm out somewhere I'm scared to go out to eat um, if I do which I don't eat anything unhealthy which you know I've already told you guys but it's just like if I have a flare up all it's gonna do is it's gonna hurt and it's gonna cause me to have a fucking panic attack because I don't know what's going on I don't know if it's my stomach if it's my heart if it's like something else like I don't know what it is and the thing is is that I don't even want to go out to eat because it's like what if I go out to eat and something that I don't even know what I ate sets me off and I end up having this really bad pain in public and there's nothing that I can do about it. I feel like it's going to ruin going out. I feel like it's going to ruin like my job and I'm trying to stay as positive as I can, but it's frustrating when you don't know what's going on with you. Like, you know, and I don't know. 
it's just and it's 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 getting bad because it's getting to the point where I'm so desperate to find answers that I'm self-diagnosing myself and that's not something that you should do because all it does is make you paranoid because then you think you have all these crazy ass like fucking things which you know to be honest I don't want something horribly wrong to be with me to the point where I feel like I'm it's gonna kill me or I'm going to not be able to live my own life because of it but at the same time I still want to find out what's wrong with me whether it's harmless or not and I'd rather it not be harmless but something that I can cure you know and it's I've been looking up shit and it's like you know I've been looking up stuff like about lupus and shit like that and fucking all these other things and I'm like why am I doing this to myself you know but I think it's when you are going through these things and you don't know what exactly you're going through it's kind of hard not to self-diagnose yourself because you're just like I'm feeling this pain and it just seems like nobody knows what's going on. You know? And it's hard to not think the worst about what could be wrong, you know? And I know that I've always been a hypochondriac. I've always thought, like, when I had even the smallest amount of pain that I was dying. Like, I, I mean, I know that I've always been like that. But... I, I don't think that it's, I don't think that it's, that I'm, I'm overreacting to the pain that I have. I think that I, I think that me being a hypochondriac doesn't help because it just makes the situation worse about trying to figure out what's going on and everything else and it probably makes the pain worse but I don't think that the pain isn't there I don't think that I'm just imagining this you know because it's like it's what people would tell you you'd rather be safe than sorry and I get that you know and I think it's it's not a good thing to always be going to the doctor or always going to the hospital because you think that there's something wrong with you but at the same time it's not good to have pain and not go to the doctor and not think that there's anything wrong with you like you're invincible you know and you know I've been stubborn because I've been like not wanting to go to the hospital because not because well I mean there's two reasons I'm very impatient I know that sounds so stupid but it's just it's not really the impatience part it's more of the going to the hospital them telling them telling you that there's nothing wrong with me and basically wasting my entire time there that's the whole thing of it and it just seems because every time that I've gone to the hospital for something there's never really been anything wrong with me but yet I'm going through this like horrible amount of pain you know like there was one time I went most of the times that I've gone it's been because of an anxiety attack the other times have been because of gas and they didn't say it was either one of these this time um they said i could have had some gas because of my acid reflex but they said that it you know i don't know i mean you know i don't know i just don't know what to do i don't know because the thing is is when i keep my dad's like you know he's like you need to figure out what's going on my dad i get it I get that I need to figure out what's going on, but it's kind of hard to figure out what's going on when no one else knows what's going on. It's kind of if something that I'm doing is triggering what I'm going through, then, but I don't know. That's the problem. Is like if I knew what was triggering these attacks, I would stop it. I wouldn't even give a shit if it was hard or not, if it was something that I do all the time. I would stop it because I'm not. The pain that I'm going through is not worth whatever I'm doing that's causing it, or whatever the case is, you know. But it's just it's just frustrating because I just I feel like I'm losing grip on my life now, and this has been going on for over a month, and it's not gotten better. It's just been getting worse. Um, you know, it was it was more manageable when 
I was like when I was able to exercise, I was able to go to work and I was fine. And it was annoying, I'll admit, when I was trying to sleep and relax and the pain would come. That was obnoxious. But now it seems like the pain is just constant. It's when I'm exercising, it's when I'm working, it's when I'm like doing basically anything, trying to relax, it's just, it's like the pain's always there. And sometimes it'll subside and it won't be, it'll be more, a lot more bearable, but then sometimes it'll just come and it comes strong and it just, it, 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 ruin, it just changes everything. I could be in the best of moods and be totally fine, but once that pain hits, I'm done. Like, I just, my whole demeanor changes, and you can tell that I'm in pain because my whole demeanor changes. I I don't talk, which most people probably enjoy, but I don't really talk. I kind of get snappy. I just don't want to do anything. I just want to go home. I don't want, I just, I just, I just feel like I'm just losing my grip on my entire life and it's like it's really starting to frustrate me because I'm trying to get my life together I'm trying to better myself I'm trying to work out and eat healthy and do what I need to do to better myself and it's just hard because it just seems like whenever I try to better myself I always have these like roadblocks in my way and I just don't know what to do like it's just getting really just getting really annoying to be honest it's just it's getting hard to deal with you know, and my you know my dad he's trying to be as supportive about it as he can and you know so has my girlfriend and you know and stuff like that but you know I don't think anyone finds it not serious. Um, I think that, you know, certain people don't want to talk about it because they don't want to be stressed out and they don't want to be scared to talk about it because they don't want to think that there's something really wrong with me and I don't want to talk about it either half the time because I don't want to think there's something wrong with me. But the thing is, even if I don't talk about it, I feel it. So then I know that there's something there. And I just, I don't know, I don't know what it is. And it really is just, it's just really starting to freak me out. I'm scared to go to work. And I think that gives me an already like a pre-exposed anxiety attack because I'm so afraid of um, going to work and just, passing out right there you know that's the last thing I want to happen because you know just knock out right there and what's gonna happen you know who knows who's gonna find me if they're gonna find me right away you know and it's just it's scary to think about that and you know it's, it's like and the only reason I'm thinking about that is because it's happened a few times where I literally felt like I was just gonna pass out like there was no it was like I had to fight to not pass out like I had to like just try to push myself through whatever I was feeling and deal with it and it was hard I mean the pain went away after a while it subsided it wasn't um, it wasn't as bad, um, but it's just been worse, it's just, it's just a never-ending battle, it just seems like I'm just gonna forever be going through this and no one's ever gonna figure out what's going on. 
what I'm trying to explain to a doctor is that I can't keep waiting for this shit to happen. Like, I can't keep calling out of work because of this. I can't be afraid to go to work because I feel like something's gonna happen to me while I'm at work. And it's just, I'd rather, you know, I don't want anything to happen to me in general, but I'd rather something happen to me at home. Because at least, I don't know, it's just, I don't, I hear these horror stories of people just have, like, passing out, dropping dead, or whatever at work, and it's like, I don't know, it's just not a good thought, you know, I can be doing something and then just pass out right there, and that's, you know, I'm not saying I'm just going to die, but just pass out, like, just faint, and don't just make a whole big scene about it and that's what I don't want to do I don't want to make a big scene I don't want you know shit like this to keep happening where it's just it's just you know, it's hard to deal with I know this video is getting kind of long and I apologize I'm just I just have to get some stuff out of my, off my chest you know and if there's anybody out there that has gone through this where They've, you know, and I've been reading up on it too, you know, there's actually a lot of people that have been going through the same thing that I go through and they're still trying to figure out what's wrong with them and it's like, it, I mean, it feels a lot better to know that I'm not alone um, with this, um, but at the same time, it's not... It doesn't make it enough, better enough to not think about it all the time. Um, you know, just um, I might make a, a separate video of symptoms that I have and maybe if there's somebody out there that is a doctor or something maybe they can help me out and I can just try to go a bit too much so much enough detail to maybe get some help because like I said my ultrasound's not till the 14th and <sighs> it's just getting worse I'm supposed, my birthday's coming up, I'm supposed to be doing stuff with my mom and my girlfriend and stuff and I just don't even feel like I'm going to be able to do it because I feel like, I just feel like I'm going to be in so much pain and stuff's going to happen, I'm not going to be able to enjoy myself, you know? But anyway, so, um, I'm just letting you guys know what's going on, um, yeah, I'm, uh, but, um, the hospital did say that they want me to try to get an appointment with my doctor, um, or I guess before I go to get my ultrasound, just to let him know what's been going on, um, you know, and just to, like let him know that it's just it's just been getting worse, and to try to figure out if they can do something else, um, you know, and everything else. So I'm gonna try to call. I'm gonna explain to them what's been going on, and I just hopefully we can figure this out. You know, but um, I'm gonna go and sorry about the lengthy video. I just, like I said, I just really needed to get some stuff off my chest. So, um, thank you.
guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video